This tutorial is going to be all about transitions. Today, we're gonna to talk about how you can use a mask to cover part of the frame while you transition from one shot to the next. And if you're new here, then welcome. My name is Adrian. I make tutorials on video editing. And if you're interested, I do have some free resources that are linked in the description box below. The purpose of transitions are more than just an opportunity to do fancy editing, even though they can wind up looking pretty cool. <laughs> In order for them to really serve a purpose, you need to be clear about what it is that you are trying to communicate. Remember, editing is all about manipulation. You're trying to get your audience to feel something really specific. So using a transition, can show something like the passage of time or two events happening simultaneously. So let's get started. As you can see, I have Premiere Pro open and I have three clips loaded up and ready to go. I'll scrub the playhead along the timeline and you can see that we've got a Dr. Rock walking down a hallway, a clock on the wall with time passing and people waiting in a waiting room. Mm -hmm. Something that I wanna point out really quickly is screen direction. You may have noticed in all three of those clips that the camera was moving in the same direction. That's a good thing. It's critical that your camera moves in the same direction from shot to shot. It would be far too jarring for you to put two shots next to each other, where in the first one, the camera is moving to the left, and then in the second one, the camera is moving to the right. The first thing I want you to do is take your first clip and move it up to track three, your second clip up to track two, and your third clip can stay on track one. Your clips, when you're done, will need to be stacked in order for a transition with a mask and to work. I want the mask to appear on the first clip about halfway through the clip. So I'm gonna move the playhead here about halfway through, make sure that clip is selected Go over to Effect Controls and down to Opacity and select that rectangle mask. I'm going to drop this to 25%. It makes it a little bit easier for me to see and work. Move that mask off. I'm going to resize it first and then move it off screen. Go back over to Effect Controls, down to Inverted, and check that box. Next, go up to Mask Path and select the uh, stopwatch, and that will create your first keyframe. If you then select your mask, you can see it again. Now I'm going to go through the rest of the clip, and I'm going to move that mask all the way across the screen. Now that I've done that, I'm gonna go back over to Effect Controls and you'll see this dot here that indicates there is a keyframe. And I'm gonna press this little left hand arrow that allows the playhead to jump from keyframe to keyframe. I'm gonna go back to the very first keyframe I put down and that is where I am going to move my second clip to. So now, if we move the playhead a little bit and then watch what we've done. We've got a little bit of a transition from the doctor walking down the hallway to the clock on the wall. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the second clip. All right, now let's watch it and see what we did. It's 
since we lined up all the clips on the timeline and then used a mask to transition from one to the next, what we're conveying is the passage of time. What's implied here is that the people are sitting in the waiting room while time passes while the doctor conducts a surgery. Yeah. Are there transitions in Premiere that allow you to do something very similar? Yes, there are. <laughs> But I think it's important to know what it is that's happening when you pull those transitions down to use them. Mm -hmm. And now maybe you can take this idea and manipulate it or iterate on it. And that's exactly what we're going to do next. I have two more clips ready for this second transition that we're going to do. The first one is of an elevator. The door is open, a woman steps out, and she goes walking. Mm -hmm through an office. We are going to create a mask so that it, when the elevator doors open, instead of seeing this woman, we're going to see a beautiful meadow. In order to make this transition, we're going to do exactly the same thing that we did with the hospital clips. We're going to put a mask on the elevator clip. When the elevator doors open, we're going to track that mask wider and wider across the screen until the meadow is fully revealed. That is a pretty cool and unexpected transition. Think about editing. The purpose is to propel your story forward and to make your audience think about or feel specific things that you want them to be thinking or feeling. So here with this elevator transition, it certainly propels the story forward. Here we are in an office building, a place very familiar to all of us. And then all of a sudden the elevator doors open and we're in another world entirely. And that transition to get us from one location to the next was really cool and unexpected and interesting. It also creates a feeling of surprise. At least in me, I was not expecting to have elevator doors open and see a grassy meadow on the other side. And that's it for me. If you'd like to see more, I hope you'll subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you thought it was helpful. Share any tips about masks and transitions that you have in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next one.